putting on an event here in conjunction with the Department of History, Dr. Jonathan Roth at San Jose State University. The event is called First Air War, and it's about, naturally, the First World War and the aviation part of that. When it was the first time that airplanes became a weapon of war on a large scale, became massive, and in fact, almost every type of aircraft activity, bombing, ground attack, fighters, uh, and so forth, reconnaissance, all the things that you would hear about today that aircraft do were started back in World War I. And military history and military affairs, the history of wars, is a very important part of our history, something that we need to understand, especially today. We face a lot of um, you know, challenges, and I think it's important for students and the community to uh, understand that these things aren't new, they have a history to them. Uh, World War I in particular is very important. Uh, this particular subject, aviation, I think is important for San Jose State. We have an aviation department. We have a long history of connection with aviation and military aviation in the, in the region. What I have is <clears throat> uniforms, photographic material that was uh, my grandfather served 40 years in the Army from 1887 to 1927. His picture is the one next to the dress blue uniform. Okay. Um, all of the uniforms uh, belong to black soldiers, whether officer or enlisted man. Um, and this particular, we're featuring World War I, but I had to bring in a little bit of the uh, pre-World War I period. And it's the people that wore the clothing, because each uniform has a story. Okay, and it's a story of a forgotten part of American history. Uh, my grandfather served when it wasn't easy for a man of color.